guys were down 13 to seven and then closed the half by building an 18 point lead. What do you think was more important, getting shots during that run or getting the stops that you did to, to limit them to, I think, the seven points for a pretty large chunk of time? Uh, definitely getting stops because, you know, that's the biggest thing. Some days shots don't fall, but if you're able to stop the opponent from scoring, that's going to lead in the long run. And today, obviously, shots are falling, so it helped, but the biggest key was, you know, just locking down. Jim, over on the right. Brevin, this is kind of happening a lot in the Big Ten where home teams are, are holding court. How do you explain how different you guys have been at home as compared to away from here? You know, I think that's what it is with every team in this league. I mean, everybody, you know, you have a little more familiarity at home, you get more shots up, you know, you're always around here. So maybe it's a little bit of a comfort thing, but on the road, I mean, everybody's been struggling, but you know, you just, every day you're trying to do your best to bring that same kind of intensity, that same energy on the road when you can. Jeff, yeah. we, what do you think your best contribution was today? Um, I'll just say, Defense and rebounding, and just trying to bring energy. And I feel like I did a good job of that today. And uh, just trying to stay con stay consistent on that end. Over on the right, uh, this is also for Aleem. It seemed like the past couple games, especially at home, you've been more aggressive scoring and also defensively on the court. Do you, uh, I mean, I saw you sort of talking a little bit after a block or uh, at least a stop. Do you feel like you're sort of feeling better playing on both sides of the ball, like as of late? Uh, yeah, for sure. There's been more opportunities, so I've been trying to take advantage of that and be more aggressive. And then at home, the crowd gets behind you and you got a little more intensity, so uh, just playing with a little more emotion as well. Hey, for Evan and Trevor, uh, if you look at these last two home games, overall, what do you like most about you know how your guys responded after some, after some tough weeks? Um, I think it shows the character of the team. Um, it's not easy. It's been um, some hard times, but I think we've come together as a as a unit, and um, to have big wins like that, the fans still sticking behind us, I think that's awesome. <coughs> Brian, Brian what? with how your career has gone, how have you seen your role with this team just evolve over the last couple of years? That's deep. <laughs> Uh, I mean, for the most part, Coach Guard's always been on me, you know, to do the little things first. And, you know, whether that's chasing a guy off the line, make sure shooters don't get the shots off, you know, defending, rebounding, just hustle plays, you know. That's kind of what I've always tried to do as much as I can. You know, this year, Ethan being gone, you know, there's a void of points every once in a while. So I try to, you know, pick it up as much as I can. Tom, all right. right. <clears throat> Trevor, back here. Uh, I'm sure your dad's told you a lot about that 2000 team. Um, did you guys have much contact with him, Coach Bennett, the team, whatever? And if you did, what did you take away from that this weekend? Um, not much. They came to our practice um, yesterday. Um, I know Dick Bennett, the Bennett's, uh, just from living in Point. Um, my dad's got a good relationship with all those guys. So um, we just talked. Nothing, nothing too much about the 2000 Final Four team, but uh, everything that we've uh, learned from them. It's just about uh, playing for the W on your on the front of your jersey. Um, they said that they were like 11 and 11 at one point in the season, and just shows that anything can happen when you buy in and play for each other. So I think that's a good message for us. Jeff, on the left, Trevor. Um, Demetrius not in here today, but I think he had another eight assists today. His assist to turnovers numbers have been pretty good all year. As a point guard. What do you when you watch him play recently? What have you seen from the way he's been able to get the ball to shooters and also protect the ball and limit his turnover? Meech is a killer, man. Um, he's kind of he's finding his groove um, with the more opportunity. Guys had to step up, and he's taking full advantage of that. Um, I obviously learn a lot from him um, more in practice because he can communicate more to me uh, versus. Um, if I'm on the bench or he's on in the game, but he's a heck of a leader. Um, and yeah. Jim, on the right. Trent, you got 30 points today from the bench. Back to your right. You got 30 points today from the, from the bench. How important do you think that was for you guys to not only add all the other little things, but do some scoring punch too? Oh uh, yeah, that's big time. Um, when Whenever your bench can contribute, especially in the points department, um, it takes a load off the the guys who are showing up most of the nice uh, starters and things like that. But um, 
Yeah, Brevin Pritzel, shout out my man. Heck of a day for him. Over on the left. Going off of that, Brevin, what is the key to finding a rhythm in a game like this, just being so effective? Uh, you know, just doing what I do every game. And for the team, you know, it's sticking to our game plan because at the end of the day, Coach Gard preaches us to get the best shots we can in possession, you know, and hot your shot. So everybody's kind of looking for their, looking for what they should do best. You know, it kind of just works out. And it's fun when shots go in. George, come back. Ali, <clears throat> this team always, you know, you guys seem to always start your groove on the defensive end. You mentioned it with the defense and rebounds. Where does that come from, and why is that so important for this team? Um, that's always been the DNA of Wisconsin and something we take pride in. But today specifically, Coach Guard was uh, telling us that we needed to be more <coughs> defensively after the Minnesota game and apply more ball pressure and get them out of their comfort zone. Because when they get comfortable, they're a heck of a team. So we tried to put them on their heels and negate some of the things that they were able to get. And I feel like we did a good job of that today, especially in the first half when we won that run. Yeah, Trevor again, kind of on the two left. If you look at the assists, we each has eight, but I think there are seven guys with at least one. What does that tell you about the ball movement today? Uh, I thought the ball movement was great, especially in that run uh, towards the end of the first half. Um, anytime you can get rhythm threes instead of just like stand still off a ball screen, I, mean, I think that's huge. Any shooter who's ever shot um, would rather have a rhythm three, catch and, catch and shoot inside out. Um, ball movement three, then uh, stand still or 